we've always used the same engine. It's a, a, a Swedish engine, Scania, S-C-A-N-I-A, which we now use in our larger wheel loaders, and, and, and they'll be in more models next year, too, when we go to Tier 4 final. It's the only engine that, uh, that Moxie Doosan has ever had in articulated trucks. That's how much confidence we have in the durability of the engine. Actual payloads of, of uh, these trucks, this one, the DA40, is, is really 44 short ton, which is uh, an increase of 10% over the prior model. And the same with the, the DA30, it's a, it's a 31 ton class, the payload truck. So that stayed the same in payload uh, uh, from the old model to the new model. The 40 ton has gone up 10%. And as far as uh, uh, meeting IT4 technology, when we did that, we uh, also upgraded the specifications of the truck. So uh, payloads went up 10%, in general horsepowers went up 10%, and the, and the uh, all important torque went up 28%. We've also now have a uh, purpose built transmission. Same manufacturer as ZF or ZF, but it's purpose built for articulated trucks. And in the equipment world, uh, no transmission works harder than the ones in articulated trucks. Because the ground can be hard packed like this, and the snap of fingers, you can be in two feet of mud. And, you know, the truck, this one loaded weighs about 150,000 pounds. And to be able to force its way through two feet of mud at the same time, it's a lot of stress and strain on the, on the drive line. So purpose-built transmission. Transmission, we found over the years, the more gears, the better. So uh, manufacturers have gone from six uh, gears forward to uh, seven, eight, and nine gears forward. This, uh, the Doosan trucks have eight gears forward now. So they're smaller gear steps. So they'll change gears quicker, and the and the gears are stronger in each gear. The cab is totally different from from the prior models. It's the same size basically. The uh, we have probably the most space in the cab of anyone in the industry. Uh, not only is the uh, is the look of the cab changed, but the way the operator interacts with the controls is all changed. All the your uh, uh, readouts now are on an LCD display which is nice uh, for diagnostic use and, and, and for the operator. There is uh, a, an onboard weighing system now as standard equipment. Where the, uh, uh, there are only two of us in the industry that put an, uh, an onboard weighing system as standard. And which is nice because uh, it gives the, uh, the contractor or the rental person the opportunity to know how many tons he's carrying uh, per day, per month, or per week. And also, it, uh, the trucks uh, can be overloaded very easily, so it's a, it's a monitor as to uh, uh, how much payload you're carrying. Short term, it's, it's nice to carry the extra weight, but long term, uh, it shortens the life of the components. So it gives you a history of uh, what the truck has done over a uh, period of time. And that compartment that's open behind the door, there is an auto loop system in there. We're the only manufacturer in the industry that puts an auto loop on an articulated truck as standard equipment. It lubricates all the major components on the truck. It greases every half hour only when the wheels are turning.